Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Division video. What if you guys today is a continuous video from the one I posted about two days ago. If you guys haven't seen that video, I pretty much talked about your weapon damage and how you can increase your weapon damage uh, really easily. I gave you guys about five tips I've been using. So today I decided to make a video on health and how you can increase your health really easily and some of the tips I've been using. Don't get me wrong. I'm mainly a DPS and fire armors person, I just like using damage builds, but whenever I do use health and stamina builds, um, I like to have my health as high as possible, so you know, obviously, I am more tanky and, and stuff like that. So, if you guys do enjoy this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Really quick thing I want to say is you can use these tips either for last stand, dark zone, or PvE, it doesn't really matter. These tips are a little bit more focused on PvP, but like I said, if you don't like playing PvP and you're more of a PvE person, go ahead, you can still use these tips if you aren't already. Anyways, coming up first, we have your abilities. Now, don't get me wrong, your gear set and your weapon, whatever you're using, is very important. But in my opinion, your abilities are pretty much what determines how much you're going to survive. So whenever I'm using more of a tanky build, all my abilities I like to focus on is pretty much healing and just giving me health. So the first thing you want to use is the recovery link. The recovery link is really clutch whenever you're out of medkits or, you know, heals and you have to heal yourself because you're in a gunfight, you can pop recovery link and it gives you health automatically. Not only is this a instant heal, but it also gives you heal over time, which is really, really nice. Uh, the next thing you want to use is overdose as your first aid. When I did talk about my weapon damage and pretty much the weapon damage tips I did post two days ago, I talked about booster shot, how booster shot is really good. Whenever you're using more of a tanky build, definitely use overdose. You get way more uh, self heal and that's really important. You pretty much get doubled from booster shots. So, you know, although you're not getting that weapon damage, with overdose, you're getting pretty much twice the heal, and it's really, really nice. And the final thing for abilities I would recommend using, and I've been using this for the past couple of days, is a support station. Now, the support station I've been using is life support. Not only does this support station heal you, but it also allows your teammates to be revived, and even yourself uh, revived whenever you go down and stuff like that. So, like I said, healing station, overdose as your first aid, and recovery link is what I would recommend for your abilities. The next pretty simple tip I have for you guys is obviously have more stamina. Whenever I'm making a, I guess a tanky build or even a, a build with a little bit more health and just so I can eat a little bit more bullets, I like having over 6,000 stamina. Now don't get me wrong, stamina is not the most important thing in the game in my opinion. I, in my opinion, I feel like health is really important whenever you're going for survivability, but stamina is still a really nice thing to have pretty high uh, whenever you're making that tough build and so stamina over 6k is what i would recommend some people say over 7k some people will say even higher but for me what i find out is when i have 6000 stamina i can still have enough firearms to do a lot of damage and pretty much kill people uh really quickly so like i said 6000 stamina is my next tip next up in my opinion is the most important tip and that is roll health on every single gear piece you can now I do know some people go for like critical hit damage or stability and stuff like that. What I would recommend is having health on every single thing you can. I do understand that sometimes, you know, getting a perfect health roll is a little bit difficult, but what's really nice about last stand is everything normalizes. So even if you do get a chest piece with like 15,000 health, when you go last stand, that's going to normalize and it's going to get maxed out, which is really, really nice. So that's why I do recommend using anything with health. Like I said, although you might have a pretty terrible roll with health, if you go to last stand, it's going to get normalized and you will have a maxed out roll. The next tip I have for you guys is use all your firearms, stamina, and electronic mods with health on them. Although it is only like 3000 health per mod, if you stack them, you're still going to get a lot of health for your build, and it's going to make you a little bit more tanky and absorb more bullets. And since we are on the gear mods topic, I would also recommend using prototype performance mods that do come with 6% first A self heal, so your heals are a little bit better whenever you use them. The final tip I have for you guys is use anything that pretty much guarantees you health whenever you kill a person. So for example, use predatory or sustained on your weapon if you do not want to use something like, you know, responsive or unforgiving or deadly. If you want something that gives you health whenever you kill someone, predatory is really nice. Killing a target regenerates 35% health over 20 seconds, so uh, you pretty much get a heal over time. 
And next up, Sustained. Killing a target increases your health by 6%. So like I said, if you want something like that, go ahead and roll those talents on your weapons. Also, use a Rapid Chest Piece. Although the Rapid Chest Piece is, you know, not the greatest thing in the game, um, you can definitely go with something like a Specialized Backpack or Savage Gloves. A Rapid Chest Piece is really nice because it decreases your cooldown for healing skills by 15%. This only works on your healing skills, which kind of sucks because I wish it worked something for like pulls or anything like that. But like I said, if you're making a tanky build, a rapid chess piece is a great addition to your build. And finally, finally the Nimble Holster. Nimble Holster is getting a nerf, sadly. I don't really understand why they're nerfing it. It's not a big issue. It's not a big problem in the game, uh, like some of the other things in the game as of right now. But the Nimble Holster is another thing I would recommend using. It's really nice. Uh, you pretty much get your health when you go to cover to cover which is really useful in PvP, PvE, uh, pretty much whatever you decide to use it in. But that's pretty much it for the video. Like I said, these are some of my tips I've been using whenever I'm making a stamina or a health-oriented build. But like I said, if you guys did enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.